kind in this city that we're putting up today. And of course it uh, helps us get another step on the road to drying in the church building. So it's a big milestone, both from a construction standpoint and for um, something of this significant, something this special in the community. You don't build domes every day. So um, there, were, there were a lot of coordination with all of the trades went into this construction of this dome. Um, it's, a, it's a specialty manufacturer radius track that they make all the components of it in their shop, pre-cut, labeled, everything. Um, every piece of plywood on there is laser cut. Everything's made and they send it out and it's like a construction set, you put it up. Working with the subcontractors on this, it was a new application for them. Uh, a lot of coordination with the framing, the steel, um, the steel erector to make sure we have a good safe plan to get it up there, um, understand the load of, the, of all the materials on that thing and then getting as much work as we could done here on the ground uh, to be as safe as possible was, was a big goal of ours. This is a very complex piece of architecture. It had to come together on a platform and so then it had to be, to be launched off of. Uh, and so not only the construction of it, but more importantly, the flying of it to get it off that platform and to get it up on the church. Well, it's now going to be the uh, significant piece that defines us as a church. So the part that it's sitting on is about 30 feet off the ground where the ring is that they're setting it on. The dome and drum is like 16 feet, so it's 50% higher than it was before the drum and dome go down on top. And then there's another cross, there's the cross that sits on top of that, which is about seven feet tall. So these last two steps are the ones that really convert this piece of architecture that's being built with people knowing, well, what kind of thing is this? It's now going to be a symbol up and down 192nd Street, and you can see it from quite a distance. A lot of uncertainty doing something, you know, as you've never done before for me and the whole team, and um, it was, it was uh, a little nerve-wracking, you know, watching it come together, how long is it actually going to take, um, what issues are we going to have, and. I mean, it went, it couldn't have gone smoother, honestly. I think through all the coordination and, and everybody putting their brains together, um, it came together as we had scheduled. 